Hey guys, this is Josh Johnson back with another 180 way video. I'm about to give you some good tips, some good tips and tricks, you know what I mean? So make sure you like the video, comment on the video, also turn the post notifications so that way you are notified when I am posting a banger. Make sure you guys do that. Um, and then also ask me any comments, ask me any questions, and also add me on Snapchat. My Snapchat is Brigos or Dive. Feel free. Ask me anything anytime. You know what I mean? I stay up. So I'm going to see the question. You know what I mean? So I'm going to be able to answer too. But uh, basically, I want to do this video because I feel like this is such a good video on this topic because I don't see it. And I want to make sure that you guys are getting like the real inside you know what i mean like it's not really just like a video for clicks it's really just put y'all up on game on this because i know a lot of people ask me this and this is a like a widespread question on my snapchat and my other social medias that you guys ask and even comments so pretty much the question is like why do my waves go away or why do i see my waves or why like you know one day my waves would be super deep and then suddenly they're gone or like how do i fix that how do how do i get that better like is that going to happen are my waves gone or how do i get them back so i really wanted to answer this because this is important and it does freak a lot of people out it's actually kind of funny because people are like yo like yo, like my waves are gone my hair is different man i was i was at a place and i, I felt like i lost everything or you know you get a cut and you don't see your waves anymore so basically this means your hair isn't trained so when you are first starting out waves this is a common issue because you feel like okay i've been doing my routine and it's working i see waves but they're gone so what that means is you just haven't been doing it long enough and then your hair is not trained basically meaning that your routine it hasn't set into your pattern yet so what you do to fix this or what you do to get better at this is to train your hair training your hair meaning that you have a stronger routine a stronger routine normally consists of you being able to brush longer you be able to have better brush sessions you be able to you know mirror brush you know get the mirror get a better pomade you know get the angles and everything like that so that way your hair is used to the wave process if your hair is not used to the wave process and your hair is low your waves are not going to show you know what i mean like at the end of the day waves are laid down curls so your hair has to curl at some point and you know if you see curly hair normally it's straight first then it gets curly later on and then if you're a coarse hair waver you know you will see like a certain type of curl but it has to be laid down you know what i mean for you to see the waves so you have to stay on your routine but you also have to make sure you are consistent on your routine and your routine is also good so routine consisting of you know you're making sure you're brushing for an hour you're using good products you're making sure you're using a good pomade you're like you're saving the progress you're using a good brush i recommend you know to turn a pro until i get my own brush you know what i mean like go ahead i mean that might be coming you know a little teaser alert but you know make sure you're using good products and then as sooner than later the progress is going to come and your hair is going to start falling in line you know your hair is going to start saying like okay i'm going to be less defiant i'm going to just fall into this 360 wave pattern or this 180 wave pattern and i'm just going to listen because this guy the guy being you is being so consistent to the point where i have no other choice you know the do rag is laying the hair down like I, I really can't curl up i can't over curl he's getting the right length on his haircut so you know it's no room for error it, at some point your hair is just going to give up and be like okay let me just wave up let me just be the best i can be because this guy is not giving up at anything like whatever was going on sports school whatever, whatever you got going on at the end of the day your hair is going to know okay i'm gonna be brushed you know what i mean like i'm gonna be brushed at this time for this long every day for like months or you know weeks for pretty much a, a long time so you know when that happens your hair falls in line right you have your curls they're laid down their waves and then you wolf you know you go for a long period of time maybe a month or whatever you're consistent in that a whole entire month meaning that you never miss a day of wearing your do-rag uh, emphasis on every day wearing a durag so at that point you're wolfing you're a professional of this you get it you understand it your hair gets your hair is trained and then you get that cut your waves are going to be there it has no point for them to go away 
But, you know, generally I get this question because guys are just getting us to it. They're wondering, OK, it's been long enough. I feel like I'm new to this. Where like where my hair is, like where it was, what's going on. And it's like your hair isn't long enough either. You know what I mean? Like new guys, you, you just get into it. You're like, OK, let me start brushing. I want to see waves. It's easy. Boom. I watched the video. But no, man, it's really like some work. You really got to put in the work, the brush sessions. But also the do rag, you know, the consistent do rag, like at night, like wearing it. Like you cannot miss a night with wearing a do rag. Like if you want waves, especially good ones, you cannot miss a night without wearing a do rag. Like when I tell you, you cannot miss a night. Like you have to have a certain amount of do rags just so you don't miss a night. Like at least a minimum five. You have to do that, bro. Like it's really like not optional. You have to make sure you wear a do rag every night or you're going to be screwed. So that's that's just a part of the routine that's a part of the process to train your hair like that's the reason why we have these like videos on like routines and different style washing style methods and shower brush and everything like that that's just so your hair becomes trained to where you don't really have to work as hard and your hair is on autopilot in a sense like it's automatically gonna do what you need it to do so that is important if you don't do that your hair is not going to understand what to do like it's not going to be set in stone your wave pattern your pattern is going to be all over the place your pattern is not going to be as silky as it needs to be so you have to understand that doing everything gets you better to your hair better trained the better trained it is the better if it's going to fall in line like it's just as that simple like you have to train it if you don't train it it's going to be wild like that's just how curly hair is like if your hair is curly or your hair is long or even if you haven't gotten to cut it in a while and you haven't been keeping up with it your hair is going to be literally everywhere like it's going to be oh, that's no amazing. consistent oh, curl pattern I it's going to be it might be dry in one area it might be like good on one side it might be wavy on the other side and that just means that you haven't been up on the process process and it's not trained so definitely get on that man like really understand that and understand too to my new guys if you're going through this is it, it takes time your hair just has to be trained you know what i mean like it's just gonna take a couple weeks a couple months you know get into it start seeing progress like the progress is definitely going to motivate you but realize that it's going to continue to grow your motivation is going to continue to grow when you like on your stuff because you're going to start seeing progress and your hair is going to become more and more trained every week every day so don't feel like you're not growing or you're not getting better but you are so just realize that and then you know stick stick to it you know what i mean stick with it definitely add me on snapchat my snapchat you know burritos die like i'm gonna be able to help you out during different stages too so you can feel free to add like any pictures and everything like that so that way i can like see where you're at and that way you can understand where you're at at that specific moment through that picture so yeah that's just really what I wanted to say on that. I feel like that's very, very important. I feel like, you know, because waves, is, this probably is going to get clicked a lot. It gets kind of swept up under the rug. But yeah, that's basically what that means is like when your waves are gone or they go away, like at their cut or just you wake up one day and they're gone, your hair is just not trained. And there's nothing wrong with that. It just means that you need to wear your dress more often and understand that you have to have a goaded routine to get consistent waves and waves that are trained and, stay, and stays no matter what and you could do like the comb back method and everything like that so and then for right now like what you're seeing that's really like my shea moisture go to all those products together work really good and you know you don't have to use so much product in your hair you just use products that are going to make your sure your hair is healthy and shine you know what i mean like, so you don't have to put like a ton and clump your hair in but just use like a little bit and figure out you know what amount works best for you you know what i mean like for me just making sure i have the right products and this is like a little bit every day or like you know i switch in and out like okay maybe i want to try this leave-in conditioner this day you know with this pomade and this olive oil or this argan oil you know what i mean so it's like it's really like up to you to figure out you know depending on what day what you need for that day that's generally what i do and that's just how i get more moisture in my hair that's how it it kind of gives you a better shine and everything like that and that's it that's pretty much all i do you know what i mean it's not it's not really that hard but it's just like i just kind of figured out what routine i liked you know and then it just when you figure out what routine you like 
it helps out with you like a lifelong process like okay my hair is this long i want my hair to look like this this is what product i need for this day this is what i'm gonna use and i go from there and it just comes out nice you know what i mean like i just know like okay if i want this type style i need this type product you know what i mean so i'll go in detail more than that because i know different people have different hair qualities and different hair types so I can kind of give you an idea of what product you should be looking at, depending on what hair type you have. But yeah, that's pretty much the end of the video. Hopefully this explained very well on what you can do and how to do it. And if not, you can definitely ask me any questions. Feel free, leave any comments down below, add me on Snapchat, and I'll get right back to you because I'm gonna be up, <laughs> even if I should be asleep. But yeah, that's the end of the video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.